Hey, what's up everybody? In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to fix dull or flat images using On One Photo Raw. And stick around till the end, I'm gonna show you a pro tip on how to add in dramatic light into your scenes using a local adjustment. Let's dive in and let's take a look. So inside of On One Photo Raw, we're gonna be editing this photo here. And if we take a look at the image, we can see it's quite dull, it's quite flat, it's a bit overexposed. And so let's dive into some tips and tricks that we can use to bring back some of those natural details that were there when we captured the imagery. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to develop the basic tone within our image. And an easy way to do that is to use Brilliance AI. So I'm just gonna go up to Brilliance AI here. I'm going to enable this. And what Brilliance AI is going to do is it's going to identify the different areas of the scene. It's going to examine the exposure and the tone of the image. And it's automatically going to modify our tone settings for us to develop the basic look of the image. And so if I hit the backslash key in my keyboard, we can see it's doing a really great job of just ensuring we don't have a dull flat image. We've brought back more contrast into the photograph and we've lower the exposure a bit to fix that bright look within the scene. So if I go down into my tone and color section here, you can see it's modifying these sliders here to create this look. And so again, just an, an incredibly fast way to just automatically develop the basic look of your image so that you can then continue on your workflow and start styling the image with effects and getting creative in those other ways. And the great thing about Brilliance AI is that you can fine tune it to fit the look of your image or adjust the results to get whatever look that you're going for within that particular scene. So if we go into Brilliance AI, we have this amount section here that we can use to adjust the strength of those AI modifications. And then in our local adjustment section, it's automatically identified these various regions within our scene and created local adjustments for us. So if we need to modify the look of those individual areas, we can do so really easily with just these different sliders down here. So for example, if you want to bring back more detail and darken up that sky a bit, you can pull up on the sky slider. Or if you want to adjust the water to cool it down a little bit, you can pull up on the water slider there. So now that we've modified the basic tone and color of our image and we've adjusted those individual regions, let's go in and style a bit using effects. And what I like to do whenever I'm adding in filters, especially if I'm modifying an image like this, is I like to select various regions and apply individual filters to those regions. An easy way to do that is to use Super Select AI. So I'm just gonna go over here to my tool well on the left. I'm gonna grab Super Select AI here, this little super tool there. Now I can just hover over the various regions that I want to modify and adjust with filters. And I can also do this with local adjustments as well. Now I want to apply detail into the foreground section here, but I want to avoid the sky with the detail that I'm using. So an easy way to do that is to select the sky and then rather than painting in an adjustment or filter into the sky, I'm just gonna choose erase. I'll secondary click and grab dynamic contrast and that will apply detail directly into the foreground section of our image while avoiding the sky. So now if we take a look at our dynamic contrast, it's masked out the sky for us, it's protected that sky region and now we just have that detail being applied to our foreground area. Just lower the opacity a bit to make it not so intense. The great thing about On One Photo Raw is that everything is non-destructive, so you can always go back and readjust or reapply as needed to fit the look of the scene that you're going for. Now let's apply one more filter here, and the filter I'm going to apply is the Color Enhancer filter. If we add the Color Enhancer filter, one of my favorite styles within this color enhancer filter is the sky style. Sky is going to go into the blues within the image and it's going to richen them up and make them a lot more lively within the scene. So with just those few 
adjustments. We brought in Brilliance AI. We adjusted a couple of those areas individually within our scene. And then we added in two filters. Let's hit the backslash key in our keyboard to check out the original. We have the original and then after. And a much more appealing, natural looking image versus that dull and flat original photograph that we were working on. So one last thing I wanted to show you is how to get a little bit more moody and dramatic with these dull or flat looking photographs. So I'm actually just going to do things a bit manually here. I'm going to reset this look that we just created and I'm going to go into my develop tab first and I'm just going to darken things up to create a little bit more mood and drama within the scene. And that's also going to bring back a lot of that detail into those brighter areas of our photo. So in my tone and color section here of develop, I'm going to pull back on the exposure, probably about three stops or so. I'm going to add in a little bit of contrast and I'm going to pull up on my midtones a bit. Probably about right there. From there, we're going to use a local adjustment to bring in a nice bit of dramatic light into this top right corner of our scene. So let's go into our local tab. I'm going to add an adjustment here. And with our local adjustment, what we're going to do is we're going to modify some of these tone sliders. The first slider being exposure. Let's pull up on our exposure to about two stops. We're going to go down to our whites and we're probably going to pull those up all of the way. Remember, you can always readjust or fine tune these sliders after the fact. So don't worry about getting them perfectly correct before you even apply the mask. After that, we're going to warm things up with our temperature slider to make it appear as if the sun is coming into that particular section, maybe around 25, 26 or so. After that, we're going to use a gradient mask or our masking bug to apply this to the top right section of our photo. So with my masking tools here, I'm going to grab my masking bug there. You can also grab it by hitting M on your keyboard. And we're just going to drop this down. I'm going to use this smaller handle to rotate this. I'm going to use this larger handle to bring this up quite a bit, just so it's kind of sitting on that very top right corner there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this perforated edge here, and I'm just going to feather this in. And that's going to bring some of that light into the rest of the scene there. So now if I turn this local adjustment off and on, you can see it's doing a really great job of just bringing in that dramatic mood and dramatic light from that right part of the scene there. So if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, we have the original and after. And Remember, everything in Photo Raw is non-destructive, so you can always go back and fine tune your develop or local adjustments as needed to fit that scene. So if you need maybe a little bit more mood, you can darken things up. You can even brighten up your midtones some more. Or if you need to lower the opacity of that local adjustment, you can do that really easily just by modifying those sliders there. But I may actually go in and pull up on my exposure just a little bit more just to make it even a little bit more dramatic there. Oops. But I think it's looking really good there just as a quick moody dramatic edit. Again, let's check out the original and then after. And that's how easy it is to fix dull or flat images using on one photo raw. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel to learn more about bringing life into your photography using On One products. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you in the next lesson.